actual cases from official files. And I gotta tell you, folks, I don't believe what I'm seeing. Anybody can make something of their life. They just gotta what the it. hell is this archaeology? I can't gain any access of this old tech. It's hard to not have control, right? Are you telling me I'm controlling your life? You know you are lost without me. I will appreciate if you throw away this old radio. That's the one. Is this some kind of boring storytelling? I don't expect from you to understand all this. To understand what? Your primitive way of thinking. Men simply don't think. Now let's get back to the strangest secret in the world, the story that I wanted to tell you today. Why do men with goals succeed in life and men without them fail? Well, let me tell you something which, if you really understand it, will alter your life immediately. If you understand completely what I'm going to tell you from this moment on, your life will never be the same again. You'll suddenly find that good luck just seems to be attracted to you. The things you want just seem to fall in line, and from now on you won't have the problems, the worries, the gnawing lump of anxiety that perhaps you've experienced before. Doubt, fear, well, they'll be things of the past. Here's the key to success, and the key to failure. We become what we think about. Now let me say that again. We become what we think about. Throughout all history, the great wise men and teachers, philosophers and prophets have disagreed with one another on many different things. It's only on this one point that they are in complete and unanimous agreement. Now let's get back to our definition of success. Who succeeds? The only person who succeeds is the person who is progressively realizing a worthy ideal. A success is anyone who is doing deliberately a predetermined job because that's what he decided to do deliberately. But only one out of 20 does that. This company produced for a while aftermarket parts for motorbikes. Later moved to the sim racing world and make for years thousands of people happy around the globe with their sexy steering wheels. And now we can see their work attached in one of the most respected car manufacturer in the world, race car. Celebration of 55 years of Mercedes AMG and we're starting to integrate things. With some to me, it sounds like a real story of success and finally we the mortals can get a little taste of that in our cockpits. The controls and Mercedes-Benz racing engineers and sim racing team have worked together on those two projects and almost a year ago we had close look of the flagship track series AMG race car with Adam Christodoulou. Today, we will take first close look of that sim racing steering wheel version. Obviously, they are a little different as they are both optimized to cover the different needs of those two worlds, sim and Rio. The unboxing experience is quite sweet with the Mercedes-Benz logo on the top and the AMG logo on the side. Pulling the top cover, we can see that beauty fitted in tight soft foam protective case. On the bottom we'll find two boxes, one with the cable and all the tools needed for the assembly of the product and another one with nice protective cover. The red spacer adapter is separate purchase and if we need one, must order that extra. And on the bottom are the set of stickers which we will add depending on our personal needs. Unboxing is just single moment experience and I believe they have done good job to give that sweet feeling of the first contact with high-end product. The butterfly shape of the wheel is identical with the real one with very comfortable smooth in touch soft grips with 320 millimeter size and the main difference 
is on the button choices as in sim racing they really have to cover more inputs than real race car and in total we will get 32 plus 2 from the shifters. 5 illuminated buttons on each side which are different from their other wheels with really nice smooth spring loaded feedback and positive engaging click with almost zero side to side flex and for sure one of the best I ever felt and I hope to see those in their future products. Also little slots for the stickers to stay in place and be attached easily in the center. Two thumb encoders with aluminum knobs with very strong resistance and grips spaced in a way where I can move about two inputs at the time with gloves or three if I try hard with bare hands. That makes them a little bit more precise for nice clean individual inputs which I can count through my finger feeling without looking the dash. The same I can say for the rotaries in front with those black aluminum knobs which have that same strong resistance and good spacing between the inputs with really good grips on the knobs even for glove users. Both thumb and rotary encoders on the front have their own illuminated window to which we can add a sticker for the Muppet inputs. And of course, seven way funky switches on each side with aluminum knobs which every sim racer loves to use. Two LED lights on each side which are mappable through sim hub and by default they are set to RPM but we can change that to anything we need through the magic sim hub like ABS or TC inputs, flags warnings, spotter warnings and whatever else we wish. The light colors and intensity of the buttons can be changed individually as well through sim hub but also in the cube control software millions of colors for everyone out there. Little carbon plate in the middle with the Mercedes-Benz logo and interesting choice of white color for the Cube Controls logo instead of the original blue which I guess is good compromise as white is more neutral and don't interfere with the aesthetics of the wheel. 5mm thick aluminum body core with absolutely zero flex in any direction and plastic shrouds for some of the buttons. One small indicator on the left for the cable connection and one on the right for the wireless connectivity if we have Bluetooth receiver on the PC. The battery of the wheel is rechargeable automatically once it's connected with the Qcon magnetic USB cable and will take 2-4 to four hours charging depending on the USB slots. It can keep running the wheel for 50-60 hours with the LEDs off and around 10 hours at maximum brightness. On the back are two of the new GT series aluminum magnetic shifters painted in red with adjustable carbon plates which I extended to their maximum and they are still very strong even in that configuration. Little antenna for the wireless connection, magnetic Qcon connection and on off switch aluminum case which support the rigidity of the build and cover the electronics. As I've said, the wheel is 320mm size which is the first I personally see with those dimensions in butterfly shape for sim racing use and with the spacer adapter weight 1 kg and 325 grams and is the heavier they have but also the biggest one. For example, the CSX3 is 1 kg 220 loaded with all the shifters on the back but in 280mm size which is huge difference and the F-Core which is 285mm weighed 1 kg and 60 grams with the Pro Clutch system attached on the back. So, the GT AMG wheel because of the size is a bit heavier but still very well balanced which is something Cube Controls gives a lot of attention. Ergonomically is also very well designed with easy access of my relatively small fingers to the top two buttons, the two thumb rotaries and the seven way funky switches without removing my hands from the grip and if I extend just a bit my hand I can reach the bottom inputs plus I like the position choice of the front rotaries which are on the top instead of bottom and I can operate and still support the grips with my bounce. In my opinion, 
really good placement for all inputs. With my limited time with it, comfort wise looks good too without any fatigue around the grips. The only weak spot I have found for now is the loud noise of the shifters. As I've said, they are very strong and support good feedback in all different configurations, but the aluminum case plus the aluminum front plate creates some echoish unpleasant sound. Other than that complaint, it looks like we have really good product here with quite reasonable price for officially car branded wheel. I am really happy to see cube controls and Mercedes-Benz decided to go that route and not overcharge their fans. 705 euro before VAT is still expensive gear but definitely not overpriced for what it is. So. Those are my very first impressions of this beauty and I will give some further feedback in the near future after some more extensive time of use but for now I'm pleasantly surprised with the price of that quality officially branded gear. What exciting times for our beautiful sim racing world. Let's hit the road guys.